Now let's talk about temples. We have 168 dedicated temples across the world. Others are at various stages of planning and construction. When plans are announced to erect a new temple, it becomes part of our sacred history. It may seem odd to announce new temples when all our temples are closed for a while. More than a century ago, President Wilford Woodruff foresaw conditions such as ours today. As recorded in his dedicatory prayer of the Salt Lake Temple given in 1893. Some of you may have seen excerpts from this remarkable prayer on social media. Hear these pleadings from a mighty prophet of God. Quote, when thy people shall not have the opportunity of entering this holy house, and they are oppressed and in trouble, surrounded by difficulties, and shall turn their faces towards this holy house, and ask thee for deliverance, for help, for thy power to be extended in their behalf, we beseech thee to look down from thy holy habitation in mercy and listen to their cries. Or when the children of thy people shall be separated through any cause from this place, and they shall cry unto thee from the depths of their affliction and sorrow to extend relief and deliverance to them, we humbly entreat thee to hearken to their cries and grant unto them the blessing for which they ask." Close quote. Brothers and sisters, during times of our distress, when temples are closed, you can still draw upon the power of your temple covenants and endowment as you honor your covenants. Please use this time when temples are closed to continue to live a temple-worthy life or to become temple-worthy. Talk about the temple with your family and friends because Jesus Christ is at the center of everything we do in the temple. As you think more about the temple, you will be thinking more about Him. Study and pray to learn more about the power and knowledge with which you have been endowed or with which you will yet be endowed. 